Welcome to Around the Peninsula. I'm Army Sergeant Matt Cromer. Want to feel a breeze on your face? Why not do it outside by the river on something different? Petty Officer Grant Womack takes us to a whole new experience. Han River Park in Yoi Naru is a wonderful place for people who want to beat the hot summer. There are several things you can enjoy by the riverside. If you want a cool breeze in this heat, don't hesitate to go for a riverside ride. Sometimes I want to walk, other times I want to run, but sometimes you just have to segue. A Segway is a two-wheeled, self-balancing, battery-powered electric vehicle. The rider can move forward or backward by shifting their weight on the platform. By rotating the handle, you can turn. When crossing a street, don't ride on the Segway. The hoverboard, another form of transportation, is a little bit more difficult. It doesn't have a handle, so you may face some challenges when you first ride it. But as you get used to it, you'll have a lot of fun. MC2 Grant Womack, Seoul, Korea. The maximum speed of the Segway is 12.5 miles per hour. Learning another language can be a challenging task. At the Yongsung Army Community Service, a great opportunity to learn Korean language, Hangul, is offered in an easy and fun way so that service members can explore their surroundings by themselves while staying in Korea. And I have to while living in Korea, one thing you might want to do is befriend a local national. But when you talk to them, you probably won't understand what they're saying. Learning Korean might be difficult, but it's not as hard as you think. I think that we are not born with every skills, but language is special in that we all have the ability to learn the language. Yongsan Army Community Service offers the opportunity to learn the Korean language Hangul for the military community. ACS Yongsan Hangul teacher Miss Kim helps participants not only to learn the language, but also how to jump into the Korean culture so that you can have the best experience out of your time in country. She's been able to help us learn all of the important things about not just the language, but about the culture, about how to get along well, not just ask for something, but know the right way to go about it so that we can be friendly and be good examples of Americans. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez, Yongsan, Korea. Army Community Service Yongsan offers a Korean language class every Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 1 p.m. The USO serves as a home away from home for service members and their families all around the world. Air Force Staff Sergeant Darren Murphy takes us to the newly renovated USO at Osan Air Base to show us what is now the largest USO in Korea. The USO on Osan Air Base opened its doors to a brand new facility which provided a dramatic upgrade for service members. So what today is about is, is a room and, and, a, and it was the work of USO and the resources that they have available to transform what is now the community center uh, that you will slowly see gravitate to be the, the USO. With the addition of a game room, movie theater, massage chairs, and many more features, the Osan USO goes from the smallest USO in Korea to the largest. Now we can serve our service members and families with better services. So I think, I feel like we became the real USO right now which is home away from home. For the volunteers and workers at the USO, serving service members and their families is what it's always been about. Air Force Staff Sergeant Darren Murphy, Osan Air Base, Korea. The USO has been serving service members and their families for over 75 years. The Patriot Missile System is a vital part of the deterrence force in the Korean theater. Senior Airman Emila Kuntz takes us to Osan Air Base, where Republic of Korea commanders visited to discuss the capabilities of the weapon system. Republic of Korea Deputy Combined Forces Commander General Kim hyun Jip stopped by Osan Air Base to visit the 35th Air Defense Artillery Brigade, also known as the ADA. General Kim spoke with commanders about the Patriot Weapons System, one of the crucial tools in maintaining peace and stability on the peninsula. The capabilities uh, of our uh, Patriot system allows us to protect, you know, the Korean theater of operation. And every day we work uh, with interoperability with them. Visits like these are a unique part of the job for soldiers of the 35th ADA and their Korean counterparts. So it makes me feel uh, very proud to work with our host nation partners. Uh, it's an awesome experience. And it's an experience that is key to maintaining a strong alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States. Senior Airman Emily Kuntz, Osan Air Base, Korea.
The United States has had strong relations with the Republic of Korea since it was established in 1950 after the Korean War. Want to have fun in the sun and also get away from this summer heat? Petty Officer Grant Walmack takes us to a place where you can do just that. Located on the outskirts of Bukhan River, K2 Water Leisure is a place you have to visit. It features a variety of water sports to help cool you down and get the adrenaline flowing. I'm out here at the Gapion K2 Water Leisure enjoying a variety of activities you can do out here on the water. After you don your life vest and helmet, you can start getting on the rides, which are pulled by motorboats. One of the most popular activities is known as the blob jump. You position yourself at one end of a big balloon and people jump on the other side, throwing you in the air. Another popular ride is the fly fish, which hovers in the air for a couple of seconds at an intense speed. The ride literally resembles a flying fish. There are more than 200 people here every day. We strive to provide the best service, so I hope you can come here and have a good time with your friends and family. I'm all strapped up, ready to go, and I'm about to get on a ride. Once you get on the ride, it's much faster than it looks. The employees will make sure you're safe and having fun. You will definitely have an awesome time here with your friends and family, and I highly recommend this. Petty Officer Grant Womack, Gapion, Korea. The K2 Water Leisure operates from April to September. Events on base don't always need a Kevlar and a rucksack, so what I'm going to do is take you to the movies. Yongsong packed its theater for a special showing of Operation Chromite, a movie based on the Incheon landing, which was the major turning point in the Korean War. And I had the pleasure to speak with Command Sergeant Major Stephen L. Payton as he mentions what this movie represents for everyone who served and is serving in Korea. Well, again, I think it, it points back to those that came before us, what they fought for, what country means, what the alliance means, what it means to be a rock service member, what it means to be a U.S. service member. There were tapes in the film that told it all, what we fight for, each other, our families, why we do what we do every day. So the educational benefit is to never forget, never forget why we're here today, never forget where we came from, and continue to fight the good fight, strengthen the alliance, and remember that what we do, we do together. As says our, our, our motto, Kachi Kapshi Da, we go together. Army Sergeant Matt Cromer, Yongsong, Korea. Operation Chromite is playing in theaters throughout Korea. The military is forever shifting and changing to match the current political landscape. Petty Officer Grant Womack shows us one man who is updating soldiers and putting them at ease. The senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, or SEAC, holds a town hall during his visit to Korea to speak to service members. It's a kind of twofold. One is to check on the readiness and preparedness of the troops here uh, and that of the ROC and U.S. Alliance. But two, it's also to check on the men and women to see how they're doing uh, in terms of serving in Korea as well as their family members serving in Korea and then uh, educating them on where we're going as a nation and where we're going as a military and where we're going in the future development of enlisted leaders. The SEAC covers a broad range of topics including budget constraints, leadership development and the future of the military. And I'll tell you, when I look across our services, we have different cultures and we have different ways we do business, but in the end, Leadership is leadership is leadership, regardless of what service you're in. Service members were given the opportunity to ask questions about anything military related towards the end of the town hall. Petty Officer Grant Womack, Yongsan, Korea. Command Sergeant Major Troxel is the third person to serve as SEAC. That was your Around the Peninsula for this week. To see these stories and others, go to the AFN Pacific website or view them through the AFN Pacific app. From all of us at AFN, Enjoy your evening.